everybody, welcome in, pull up a chair. We finally got a video about some dupes. Woo, really exciting dupes as well. We found some expensive things and then we found some really cheap things that can do the same thing. I am so excited to share this with you guys. Um, we've got four products here in this video that can all be found on the best sellers section of Charlotte Tilbury's website. Um, these are popular products. One of these in particular, I really, really loved and I thought it would be very doubtful that I would ever come up with a dupe for it. That was my thinking back when it was named as an Emily Award winner, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Really felt this was a definite one-of-a-kind product. And with a little more digging through my stash, I realized that I could come up with a very similar look from another thing. Then I got a few other products here that are very popular from this line. I mean, I've got an eyeshadow quad that just can't stay in stock, you know, the one that was used in the Victoria's Secret fashion show. I got a couple of lip products to the Pillow Talk liner and lipstick that are so, so popular. And I really kind of raised my eyebrow at all those things, thinking, I'm sure there's a dupe out there somewhere. Happy belated Valentine's Day, by the way. I'm shooting this on Valentine's Day, trying to look the part. But yeah, guys, where all these things are considered, half of my face has the dupes, half of my face has the high-end stuff. So I'll give you a second to look me over and see what you think before I go revealing it all. But let's talk about the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a really interesting product. Um, I wear it in the shade two, and I've always thought of it as kind of like a sheer foundation mixed with a little bit of highlight. Like there's some kind of ratio going on there where you feel like it's meshing with the skin so naturally because instead of taking out this wand and it being like pure silver, it's actually rooted in sort of a skin tone shade. So I've got that on this side and I popped it on just straight from the doe foot and then I blended that in with a flat foundation brush. You don't have to use that kind of brush. You could use any kind of like synthetic buffing brush or a beauty blender. Another beautiful thing about this product is it could make a nice primer. Like you could put it on under your makeup for a little glow over top of your makeup. You could mix it with makeup. There's so many options here but the overall look is glowing yet kind of undetectable highlighted skin. You see the glow, you don't really see the product. Well, as I was stumbling through my stash, I found something from L'Oreal called Visible Lift and it's called Luminous Serum Tint. And this comes in a variety of different shades. I'm not saying everything exactly correlates to the shade range here, but if you're a little deeper skin tone, there might be some deeper tones of this that you like better. They incorporate a little bit more of a bronzy look. But to me, when I looked at this rose, I thought, wow, that's interesting because it doesn't look like a full-on just metallic highlight. It looks kind of like there's almost a skin tone thing happening mixing with a very natural looking highlight. So I've got that on this cheek. I just dabbed it on and again used a different flat foundation brush to blend that out. And I feel like the finished look is so, so similar. The texture on my skin is absolutely identical. I don't have one side looking more metallic than the other or a stronger shimmer or something like that. And I just thought it was so interesting how the appearance out of the tube instantly made me think of this product because of the creaminess. Again, that lack of obvious shimmer, but more like rooted in a skin tone shade. So I think if you've been holding off on this, you might check out the Visible Lift Luminous Serum Tint from L'Oreal. They also have something called Glotion. And if you're wondering if that's on par with this, I think that's much more shimmery from what I can tell. Moving on, I want to talk about this Exaggerize Bigger Brighter Eyes Quad. And this was very popular. I remember it first came out and it was touted as being used on the models in the Victoria's Secret fashion show and then Beautylish put out this email like it's back in stock and I thought okay I'll jump on that and then I used it in a video where I was talking about all kinds of expensive stuff and to me to glance at this this seems like such a basic little quad you know you got nothing going terribly dark the shades all seem just very neutral and easy and it does create a pretty look I've got it on this eye I've got this shade here in my crease I've got this as my highlight and I've got a lot of this on my lid with just a tiny splash of this color. So what's going to dupe this? I looked all over my collection. I looked in smaller quads. I looked in bigger palettes. I was having a really hard time pinning down this exact shade, this matte right here. And I kind of knew that this texture wise, this is a very interesting shade that comes off with almost a wet look. It's very unique. It's a lot of concentrated silvery micro glitter is actually what it is, kind of suspended in a taupe shade. And it can be a little fussy to work with. It's not my most favorite texture ever and I kind of thought if I don't find that exact shade I won't be mad if I can just find something maybe silvery taupey cool like that I'll be happy so my dupe for this I got to be honest with you here even though I feel like it executed 
almost exactly the same look. Me just sitting here with everything blended out, who would even know? But as you look at the certain shades swatched side by side from each of these, they're not absolutely identical, but they're really, really close, and the shades that matter, like that matte shade, that was really important to me to hit on. And I feel like the drugstore dupe is so much better because it's crazy cheaper for way more product, and it's one of my favorite palettes from ColourPop. It's called the Fame Palette, and it's an overall kind of cool palette, but if you sort of look at it top and bottom, you've got a little bit more warmth up top, a little bit more cool in the bottom. And I knew this shade at a glance, I thought, oh my gosh, that's got to be the color. That's got to be the matte. And it's really, really close. And then we've got this color up here that's kind of champagne-y. That makes a good highlight. I kind of think about this shade right here called um, Dazzle or even the most. Either of those shades can kind of mimic the look and the finish you get from this color here. Although both of these from ColourPop are more potent, more pigmented, more color comes off. This is more sheer than the ColourPop shades, so they're kind of like practically outperforming it at this point. And then if you want to bring some more life to your look, more of a pop, more of a um, silvery coolness, you've got a really great option down here with this shade, or looking up here at like Showboat. There's some great ways to make it pop, but in a formula I actually prefer working with a little bit more than that fine sparkle. Like here we're talking more of that pearlescent, almost buttery feeling creamy shadow. So it's crazy how you can achieve, in my eyes, a definite close enough look to this, but you can get so many more shadows and it's like 20 some dollars, $22, and this one is so much more for four shades. But I want to prove this all to you, so I want to walk you through the look. So I primed both lids with Milani eyeshadow primer. Then I went to my crease on the Tilbury side with this kind of mauve matte shade, your deepest color in this quad. Got that going in my crease. And then to match up on the other side, I used Stardom from the Fame palette, and I got that all blended it out in my crease too. Just very similar pigmentation and depth level on that shade. To highlight up under my brow, I used this kind of buttery looking shimmer in the Charlotte Tilbury palette. Very easily just took that right up under my brow and then I used the color called Extravaganza in the ColourPop palette and used that to highlight my right brow bone. Put this color on your right brow bone. Then back to my high end side, I used this kind of like, I don't know, shimmery khaki color on the lid and it is very, very soft. I don't feel like it gives off a ton of color. You might go in with a finger if you have that and you're trying to build it up more. And then, gosh, talking back on this, I used either Dazzle or the most, and I went over my right eyelid with that. Again, these ColourPop shimmers are more pronounced. You're going to get a little bit more color payoff out of them. Then going back to the mauve, I like to lay a little bit of that down on my lid, so it looks like a little bit less of a jump off between what's happening on the lid and the crease. And I just did the same thing back to stardom over here in the ColourPop palette. If you want to make your lids pop more, you know, you could go into that shimmery, glittery shade, pop it on the center of your lid with a finger from the Tilbury palette, and then really pick any of the shimmers that you really like in ColourPop and dab that on the center of that lid. Finishing touch for the look was just going to our matte shade again with a pencil brush and just very lightly applying that to the lower lash line, and then back to stardom again on the right eye. Finish the look with a little light liner in the lower inner rim and mascara, and I think the eyes just look crazy similar, but again, I think the value here with the Fame palette, you could go so many different directions. You've got all these deep mattes here. I've talked about loving this palette before, and I'm just glad I really thought to lay my hands on that as I was trying to recreate this look. Now we're going to talk lip products. Um, Charlotte Tilbury has a wildly popular lip liner called Pillow Talk. It's called the Lip Cheat. So the claim is you can kind of like resize your lips. You know, you can go a little bit outside the lines, and this is really a color that would work well for that. And so I wanted to show you that going on half of my lips. I used to do lip dupes one shade on the top lip and another on the bottom, but then I thought there was sometimes a shadow created by the top lip onto the bottom lip. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but we're going to keep it left side, right side of the face. So left side gets the Charlotte Tilbury, and on the right side, it was crazy. Like, sometimes my dupe missions take me forever, and I'm like trying everything in my stash. This one was like the first liner I laid my hands on in hopes of having a dupe, and it definitely is. It's from Jordana. It's from Jordana, my friends. It's good. Cost you like less than three bucks at Walgreens, and the shade is tawny. Some of you may have this in your collection. It's a beautiful shade. It's a great kind of neutral, dusty rose lip pencil. It's 
really mimicking the same shade as the Charlotte Tilbury. And frankly, a similar texture as well. My lips are kind of dry. I could have used a little prepping maybe with some balm before I went putting these on, but very happy to have found that dupe. And I think I may have saved the best for last here, you guys, with the lipstick dupe. There is a Pillow Talk lipstick as well. I again have the mini size. That was a mini size lip liner. Um, these came in a little kit around the holidays. It looks honestly pretty common. You know, you see this neutral shade, you feel like you see it a lot, right? But this was a beast to try to dupe. I thought I had a lot of products that would have been in this color range. I had so many more that were like way too matte of a formula in comparison to this. Like this isn't overly shiny, but there are a lot of things just not hitting the mark. And then there were so many things that would be too much brown, too much pink, but I got the exact thing. Exact. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of this dupe. So I took the um, lip liner off my lips so you could just see purely the lipstick going on. So I've got the Charlotte Tilbury going on the left side. Pretty shade. Again, it's kind of neutral. It's got a little pink in it. It's very wearable. I could see so many people wearing this shade, but the dupe is most definitely 100%. The Flower Beauty lipstick. It's a cream formula lipstick and the shade is Spiced Petal. And this is on point as a dupe. Like, uh, I'm so thrilled with this. I popped this on the other side of my lips and this is what I've been wearing. What you've seen me in throughout the whole video has been this split of colors and I just can't get over how similar, like, not only the color looks, but like the way the formula looks on my lips, the creaminess level of both, it feels like identical product left to right. Like, it's crazy. Spiced pedal. Check it out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little, you know, digging in, diving in, looking at the dupes. I kind of would like to do more of this, like looking at a specific brand's things and coming up with the dupes. True dupes are really hard to find, um, so that's why sometimes these videos feel few and far between, but I feel like I have, um, kind of grown my luxury makeup collection quite a bit over the past couple years. And so I think I got a little more to go on. I got a little more inspiration, you might say, for finding the dupes. So if you're cool with like, I don't know, four or five dupes coming at you in one video from one certain brand, and then we move on to another brand, um, let me know if you'd like that. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss any more, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.